<laughs> well, here we are again. Follow me to Apex, my friends. Reaper Hunter 23 here, welcoming you back to Let's Play Doki Doki Literature Club. <laughs> Alright, so the number of times I've read the title of this game just to my or in my head. I've never had to say it out loud, and now it just makes me chuckle. Alright, we're gonna get back in here. You can use the skip button to fast forward through text you've already read. Alright, so. We left off and I was in the, well, I had just gotten to the screen for the second poem. Alright, so clearly the point of the game is to choose or adjust your poems to the tastes of the uh, females here. But I'm just gonna choose the words that I find appealing. Let's see here. And see how it, like, I don't know, I guess see how it works out. Skipping, depression, whistle, sunset, vivacious. Vivacious is fun, heaven sent. Sucker love is heaven sent. I'm gonna go with that one. Shout out to placebo there. Alright, essence, loud, lust, sweet, special, childhood, tears, extreme, lazy, hair. What if we could put some of these together? I'm gonna go with essence. Oh, and because I'm gonna do my best and not like choose the same thing every time, hopefully. Like I'm pretty sure in the first one I chose Inferno. So I don't think I'm gonna do that again. Instead I'm gonna choose Bubbles. Ah, uh, let's see here. Secretive Flower, Sensation, Crimson. I'm fairly certain I chose Crimson the first time too, so we'll go with Secretive. Horror, Fantasy, Broken, Captive, Ambience is definitely one I chose before. We'll go with Aura. Fireflies, Existence, Anime, Climax, Socks, After Image. Alright, so there's none I particularly remember from the last time I chose one. So, no wait, I'm, I think I chose After Image. Go with Fireflies. Unrequited, Pink, Death, Misery. Valentine, Fireworks, Playground, Hop, Unstable, Precious. Let's try unrequited there. Agonizing, milk, breath, hope, email, warm, heart, cute, dark, adventure. Adventure. Tenacious, extraordinary, entropy, or entropy, however you feel like saying it. It's definitely one. Unrestrained, destiny, jump, feather. Unrestrained, giggle, time, embrace, vacation, wrath, marshmallow, lipstick, disown. Waterfall bed. All right, it's between these two right here. Go with wrath. Interesting little observation here. It has three of them, and Monica is nowhere to be seen. Puppy, sadness, empty, explode, bunny, joy, comfort, clouds, rain cloud. Go with explode. Contamination, parfait, melancholy, sticky, cage, peace, strawberry, disoriented. Forgive. Disoriented. Fear games, disarray. Vanilla, amazing, spinning, uncanny, promise, daydream, vibrant. We'll go with vibrant, infinite, happiness. Nightgown, Disaster, Landscape, Flea, Ribbon, Ocean, Whirlwind, Grief. I swear, there is probably one person who is losing their mind that I'm reading these all haphazardly instead of in some kind of order. Uh, landscape? Rainbow, Starscape, Doki Doki, Together, Play, Bouncy, Meager, Pure, Charm, Treasure. Go with Starscape because that sounds super cool. Headphones, cheeks, prayer, despise, shiny, lucky, massacre, melody, atone, dream. We'll go with massacre. Unending, fester, judgment, vertigo, clumsy, cheer, swimsuit, beauty, love. Ah, 
let's see. Judgment. Vivid shame, question, blanket, anger, sugar, heartbeat, misfortune. It would have been really funny if I had chose Doki Doki about two pages ago, so I could choose heartbeat now. Because these words seem to be a lot of repeats, maybe I'll keep that in mind next time. <laughs> Incapable defeat, misfortune. I'm fairly certain I chose vivid, so we're just going to choose heartbeat anyway. Sing, mouse, jumpy, co covet. I don't recall choosing that one before. Kitty, holiday, fickle, romance, imagination, portrait. Lollipop, infallible. Variance, fun. Incongruent, passion, hurt, fluffy, raindrops. Analysis. Both infallible. If I could see the product of my words this time, I would be pleased. Another day and it's time for the club meeting already. I've gotten a little more comfortable here over the past couple of days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Hi, Hunter. Sing songy. Hey, Sayori. You... <clears throat> Looks like you're in a good mood today. Sorry about that. <laughs> I'm just still not used to you being in the club, that's all. I see. I left my light on before I started recording, and I'm not a fan of that, so I'm gonna step over here and. Oh, I knocked my microphone down. Well, I was. Ugh, not my finest hour there. That's a pretty simple thing to get you in a good mood, but I guess it's always the simple things with you anyway. Speaking of which, I'm kinda hungry. Will you come with me to buy a snack? No thanks. Eh? That's not like you at all. I have my reasons. You're gonna try and chat up what's-her-face again. Why don't we take a look at your purse, Sayori? Eh? Oh, she doesn't have any money, and you don't want to pay. I just wanted to look at it. Ah. <clears throat> Sayori nervously retrieves her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Then she turns it upside down and lets the contents spill onto the desk, or lack thereof. Only two small coins fall out. Ah ha 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 ha. I knew it. I can see right through you. It's not fair. <laughs> I love this particular facial expression just makes me very amused. How did you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first place, you would have bought a snack before coming to the club room. Ugh, excuse me. So either you're not hungry and want an excuse to take a walk, or you plan to conven conveniently forget that you spent all your money so I could lend you some. I should start recording these before I eat. I wouldn't have to stop so much. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry. That only leaves one option. Bleh? I give up. Don't make me feel guilty. E. If you feel guilty, that means you deserve to feel guilty. Ouch. Not always true. Ah ha ha. Yuri suddenly giggles. Meh. I didn't notice she was listening in. Her face is in her book as always. Aha. Uh -huh. I wasn't listening or anything. Maybe that intense action book was particularly funny at this point. Yuri. Tell him to let me borrow some money. That's... Don't get me involved like that. Hey, you dragged me into your whatever it was last time. You should only buy what you can responsibly afford. And frankly, after the and frankly, after pulling a mischievous little stunt like that, your suffering is fair enough retribution. Ouch! The suffering is a bit harsh. Ah, did I just? I didn't mean that. 
had to absorb into my book. <laughs> I really like it when you speak your mind. It doesn't happen much, but it's a fun side of you. That's... There's no way you could think that. You're, you were right, though. I did something bad, and now I have to s accept the revolution. Retribution. <laughs> I read that, and th for some reason I just read it like there wasn't something wrong with it. But while I was like actually looking at the word, I'm like, that's not right. That. Still coming from you, Sayori. I guess there's a little devil inside all of us, isn't there? <laughs> Don't let her fool you. She knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the club before she even told me. B -b -b you wouldn't have come if it weren't for the cupcakes. So I had to trick Natsuki into making them. Come on and give me a little more credit than that. <laughs> Plop. Natsuki just hit her in the back of the head or something. It was like a paper. Yeah. Out of nowhere, something smacks Sayori in the face and tumbles onto the desk. Ow. What was? Eh? A cookie? Sure enough, it's a giant cookie wrapped in plastic. Sayori glances around. It, is, is this a miracle? It's because I played... Or, it's because I paid my restitution. <laughs> Retribution. <laughs> Actually, that one almost works. Yeah. Ah ha ha ha. I was just gonna give it to you. But then I heard you blab about the cupcakes. Her, the, her little tooth over there is really strange. Almost vampiric. It's totally it was totally worth seeing a reaction, though. Natsuki. <laughs> That's so nice of you. I'm so happy. Sayori hugs the cookie. Jeez, just eat it. She rapidly tears open the wrapper and takes a big bite. So good. Mmm. Raisins. Oh. She bit her tongue. Eh <laughs> Whoa. Her eyes are super weird. Over here, that looks... Maybe it's just like... The ref I don't know, that particular animation. Or that particular sprite, I should say. She takes a bite of her own cookie. Yours looks really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? Jeez. Makers can't be choosers. Yours is chocolate. Yeah, why do you think I gave you that one? Fine. Still, I'm really happy that you shared this with me. <laughs> she gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki and wraps her arms around her. Ah, jeez. It is still just really funny to me that it's just a slight sliding of the sprite over to, with a, to go with the description. I get it, I get it. Cookie's still in hand. She reaches up to... And Natsuki reaches up to nudge Sayori off of her. And then Sayori takes a bite of the cookie, doesn't she? Nom. Leans down and- Aha! Uh -huh. Hey, did you seriously just do that? Mm-hmm. Awful. Sayori tries away to safety. <laughs> okay, that was funny. Uh, both of us laugh. You're such a kid sometimes. You're like four feet tall. You are the most childish looking one. Monica, can you tell Sayori? Eh. She glances around. Monica isn't in the club room. She also started a fight like in the last episode like a child, too. Ugh, where is she anyway? Good question. Have any of you heard anything about her being late today? Not me. Yeah, I haven't either. I wasn't paying attention in the first poem reading, but for the little... F I wasn't paying attention for the first poem selection, so I don't remember if her, if there were four 
sprites there on the little side of the notebook. And maybe that's related to... This is a bit unusual. I hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She probably just had something to do today. It's pretty popular after all. Eh. You don't think she joined another club? Has a... Oh, boyfriend? She's probably more desirable than all of us combined. Ouch. <laughs> that's true. Excuse me? Suddenly the door swings open. Oh, hey, look at you. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Are they all wearing some kind of ribbon whatever in their hair? Ah, there you are. I know the only one I'd have to check is Yuri at this point. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Eh. Monica chose the club over her boyfriend after all. You're so strong-willed. But boyfriend. What on earth are you talking about? She quizzically glances at me. Ah, never mind that. We held you up anyway. Or what held you up anyway? Ah. Well, my... Well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I just kind of lost track of time. Aha. It makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring, at least. She fell asleep. They all have weird-looking eyeballs. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Okay, that's cool. Piano. I was gonna say, it doesn't look like Yuri has anything in her hair, and then I noticed this little circle thing over here. I wasn't aware that you played music as well, Monica. Ah, I don't really. I just kind of started recently. I've always wanted to learn piano. That's so cool. You should play something for us, Monica. That's... Looks at me. Maybe once I get a little better, I will. Yay. That sounds cool. I look forward to hearing it. Or look forward to it. Is that so? In that case... I won't let you down. Uh, figure skater pose. I didn't mean to pressure you or anything. Nah, don't worry. I've been practicing a whole lot recently. And I'd love the chance to share once I'm ready. I see. In that case, best of luck. Thanks, sing -songy. I didn't miss anything, did I? Except for... Sayori almost starving to death. Not really. I chose to leave out Sayori's mis mischievous escapade. I'm not sure what Natsuki will end up complaining about. Blah, 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 blah. I'm sure Natsuki will end up complaining to her anyway. It looks like everyone has already settled down. Sayori somehow finished her entire cookie already. I believe it. I tear through food pretty quickly too. Yuri is back to her book, and Natsuki disappeared into the closet. Does she always do that? Hey, Yuri. Eh. Ah. <clears throat> I suddenly noticed that she's been reading a different book than the one we've been reading together. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Ah, no. <sighs> I was just kind of waiting for you. Ah, if that's the case... Why don't we go ahead and get started? So, is it just the particular... Ah, I'm just wondering w what it is that I'm doing that makes things happen this way. Or if I'm doing something that triggers this, or if this is in fact... I think I'm just making a bunch of pre-assumed assumptions. That was a redundant sentence. But I just have a bunch of pre-assumed notions about this game being choice based and probably I'm reading or I'm probably thinking that there's more to it than there is as far as I'm just being dumb and expecting like more selections up here more frequently and that's obviously not how it works all right yes let's actually I have a request do you mind if I make some tea first I'll get the tea not at all 
I'm sure it's very tea-licious. I'm actually not a tea person. If there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet, and then she f fights Natsuki in a gladiator deathmatch. <clears throat> I watch and follow her as, she, or I follow and watch as she retrieves the small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind with a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Ah, sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. One second. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk, and then we'll get some water. Puts the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. My surprise, she, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Ah, I might as well walk with you. Walk with me. Yeah, why not? Shall we go then? Yeah. Where are you two off to? Well, it, why is it more suspicious that they're walking out in the hallway instead of into the club? Never mind. We're just Yuri was going to make some tea, so I suddenly weird how, realize how weird it sounds to explain this to Monica. We're just filling the water pitcher. Ah, okay. Sorry, I was just a bit curious. It's kind of a one-person job, isn't it? That is a valid point. That's... Please mind your own... Oh, harsh! What the fuck? That came out of nowhere. Just a little bit. Eh? Hmm? My mouth gapes. I... I suppose there's nothing wrong with that. Oof. Duh? Are you okay? 